Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is not a video I, not the kind of video I enjoy making, but it's got to be made. I have for a while been following a channel. Being a retired nurse myself, I was interested in what other nurses had to think. Sorry about that. As I say, I was interested in what other nurses were thinking in this current political climate and so on. Well, there's one, one channel out there in the last two weeks has made two videos that really, really got me ripping hot. Guy claims to be a nurse. His channel name is Prepper Nurse One. Well, he made a video, like I said, about two weeks ago, I guess it was. He talks, uh, his, his video was entitled, Who's Gonna Live and Who's Gonna Die, or something like that. Feel free to go check it out. But I want you to keep something in mind. In this video, he says something that made it quite, quite crystal clear to me, that either he's an absolute moron or he's practicing something the military calls stolen valor I do not believe he's a nurse because no nurse who's worth their salt is going to say that a diabetic requires injections of hemoglobin now I'm a little out of the field and a little out of practice but as of 2008, it is my understanding there are two kinds of injectable insulin. N and H. That's the shorthand for it. We're going to deal with a moment for the moment with H. Since the word this prepper nurse one used was hemoglobin. H is not hemoglobin. H is humulin. I'm going to say it one more time so you can catch it. Humulin insulin. Hemoglobin, as he stated, every human has, even diabetics, doesn't need to be injected with it. Hemoglobin is the protein in the red blood cell that allows it to hold oxygen or carbon dioxide. This is the process by which Gases are transferred to and from the cells of the body. I'd even be willing to bet that Prepper Nurse One doesn't even know where insulin came from before it was synthetic. Got a five dollar bill says he doesn't. And most of you probably don't either, so I'm going to share that with you. Before synthetic insulin, diabetics got their insulin from pigs. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what this guy is, a charlatan, a fraud, an idiot. I, I haven't met him, I don't know him personally. I can only go by what he has had to say. And the, what really got me ripping hot while I'm making this video, last night... I was watching a video he made where he has put his oar in the water in regards to this cop that shot the guy in the back. Terrible situation. I admit it, that's a bad cop. But he made it his video sound like all cops are crooks. Funny thing is, all we ever hear about are the bad apples. The media does not report on the Thousands and thousands of lives affected every day in a positive way by police officers. It does not report about the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of crooks caught and put away by cops every day. It only talks about the cops that are doing bad things. Why is that, do you think? I can sum it up in one statement. If it bleeds, it leads. This has been the mentality of the mainstream media 
for over a hundred years. And it's low information voters, as Rush calls them, like this prepper nurse one. He gloms on to whatever he thinks is glamorous in the news, and he makes a video about it. Don't take my word for it. Look it up on the internet for yourself about humulin versus hemoglobin. Educate yourself a little bit. And then ask yourself, who do I trust? Hubba, 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 who do I trust? Ladies and gentlemen, let me make it clear. I'm retired from the nursing profession for a number of years because of back problems. <clears throat> so my information might not be fully up to date. I admit that. So don't necessarily take anything I say for granted. Don't believe every word I say as face value true. Look it up for yourself and find out. Does Prepper Nurse 1 say the same thing? No. He hopes you'll believe him at face value. And while we're talking about it, Prepper Nurse 1, ha! If you're watching this video, why don't you try explaining to our friends on YouTube where the Isle of Langerhan is? Or perhaps you can explain to the people what a xiphoid process is, where it's located, what its purpose is, or was, or whatever. Fill us in. Ladies and gentlemen, I got five dollars that he doesn't have a clue what any of that is, unless he goes to the internet and looks it up. This prepper nurse one with a warning about watching out for charlatans. Buyer beware. Peace out.